consequence for us. Amen. Amen. Well, let me tell you, I'm almost through. We have some forefathers who stood for something. And they had the courage to risk their lives for all of humanity. I said I was going to rush through this, but I got to put a pin right there. With all that they risked, with all that they were willing to sacrifice, to give freedom to all of us never-headed folk. And then you have some of us who have the audacity to insult our heritage by walking around with the pants hanging all the way down to their knees and talking to women like they don't even exist, dehumanizing our young girls. They did not die for that. I wish I had a witness. They died for integrity. They died for somebody with morals. Amen. They risked their lives for all of us. And we ought to celebrate what they have done. We ought not take it light. I wish I had a witness. They've been too good to us. They risked too much for us to squander all the blessings that we are afforded. Right now, we have a right to give God praise. You ought to give God some praise for what he has done. Do I have a witness? But that's not all I see. I'm rushing, I'm rushing, I'm rushing. Take your time. Not only did I see the conviction of that and the courage that he demonstrated, but I also see the confidence that he has in this God. Good God, you miss your shout, cute. Listen carefully. Ain't nobody going to say amen to this but the church folk. You can trust and count on God. I said I'm going to say that one more time for me, not for you. You can trust and count on God. Amen, life and love. And if you've been alive more than 10 minutes, you know that you have been in some stuff that God got you out of. And you don't look like what you've gone through. And if some of y'all don't shout, I'm going to shout by myself. Because God has been too good to us. I wish I had a witness right long up in there. I'm looking at miracles all over this building. The doctors gave you up and you still are here. Because God has the last word. but he let you live. You've been in houses that were on fire. Everything burned up, but you live. You've been out without a job, but God never let you miss a meal. I wish I had a witness. Don't ask me how I know I can look at you and take it. Go ahead. Do I have a witness here? He's worth to be praised. The line of numbers ain't gonna be much longer. Go ahead. I got one more that I'm going to let y'all go to the house. Now, Jerusalem, y'all going to get part B next Sunday. I wish I had a with But I'm going to finish part A this morning. What did I tell you? He had what? Conviction? He had courage. He had confidence in his God. But he also knew that God was in control. Listen. Somebody needs to hear this. Yeah. Because somebody's sitting here right now. Yeah. And nobody knows what you're going through. Yeah. You've been submitting your petition to God. You've been waiting on deliverance and it just hadn't come. Yeah. You say your prayers. You open your eyes and see if deliverance has shown up. It hasn't yeah. shown up. So you keep on praying. Amen. Yeah. You're waiting on your breakthrough. Yeah. Can I drop this on you for free? Yeah. Fret not thy say. Yeah. God is still in control. Yeah. I know it doesn't seem like it right now. I know it's dark and it's dreary. I know it seems like you're going up the rough side of the mountain. But I have some witnesses scattered all over this place that can tell you if you just wait just a little while. If you just hang on in there just a little while longer. The God of the universe, he will come to your rescue. Do I have a witness over here? Do I have one over here? How about right now up in here? Somebody here that know that when God shows up, He will show out. And whatever you need, He'll be back for you. Anybody needs 
he's a mother. He's a mother to the mother. Anybody need a father? He's a father to the father. Anybody need a friend? He's a friend that's thinking closer than any other. And if you don't know my Jesus, you ought to be in for yourself. He's all right in the morning. He's all right at noontime. He's all right in the midnight hour. Do you know him? Have you tried?
And if I were you, I would make Jesus. My child, Father, we thank you now for the privilege of making the proclamation. And I pray that something has been said that will bless everyone under the sound of my voice. And Lord, should there be one here today that's not under your ark of safety, I pray that they would be entreated to come right now and cast their lot with this Christian band. And Lord, we're not talking about this church. We're talking about your kingdom. We will send you to the church of your choice as long as it's Christ-centered, prayer-minded, and Bible-regulated. But if you believe your spiritual